okay in this video tutorial i will show you how to do a lab for voice over ip if dropping using wireshark okay for your reference i want you to go to this following website which is http wikipedia wireshark you just copy and paste this link and go to this website okay let me see if I can do this one okay so this is the information about how to do wiretapping of a voice over IP with SIP protocol okay uh, please take time to read this information uh, because this will help you to understand better about how the process works okay all right so first of all you need to go to this website it show you how to capture the package the first then the next thing that you need to do is you go to this website you, you download this uh, portable wireshark it's called windows portable apps 32-bit download this to your desktop and install it okay and after you finish downloading the portable wireshark you go to the sample okay you go to this website called networker.wikia.com okay uh, you have this file called sample zip call with rtp in g711 pcap okay i put the link on the blackboard here as you can see which is item number three this is download this pcap file so the first thing you need to down to read this information how to uh, do wiretap voice call uh, using Wireshark. Then you need to download this program, which is uh, Windows Portable Apps of Wireshark. Then the next thing is you download this PCAP files. Okay. So the next thing that you need to do after you download and install all the software requirements, you need to open this file as you can see that I have this Wireshark open okay you just have to go file once you download the file you open the file okay in my case is this one okay so I have this file open once you have all this uh, PCAP file uh, what you need to do is you go to telephony and VoIP calls okay as you can see that this is a very simple process when you go to VoIP calls okay Notice that you have MGCP and SIP protocol. In this case, I just want to do wiretap for the SIP protocol. Remember, SIP protocol is the open source one, okay? If you're using Cisco Call Manager or Cisco Call Manager Express, the signaling protocol or the calls uh, is called SCCP, which is a Cisco skinny protocol. So in my case, I'm using the SIP, okay? What I need to do is I just play the stream, okay? I just play the stream as you can see there, and then I do the play. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 As you can see that you have the source address, the source port, right? The destination address and the destination port, right? So, and then I want to show you one thing here. Uh, as you can see, the voice, the conversation are in Spanish. Maybe some of you can understand what they they were saying okay and then the next thing that i'm going to show you to you is the the flow sequence it is you can see that if i go to flow sequence okay here notice that it show you the invite method invite messages and then 100 is trying 180 is ringing and then look at the codec here we use g711 okay and then the rtp the real conversation start in here and then acknowledgement and then you close this rtp all right so that is how you use this is the process how 
to wiretap voice over IP uh, using Wireshark. The process is not that difficult, but you have to know what you are doing. You need to have the file, the program, and the process of it. Uh, if you want to do the, the the Cisco one, you have to to look for this file instead of zip protocol. You look for skinny protocol. You can go like this view. Let me see if I can do this one. Find. Where can I find here? Here, right? This is fine. You click here, find package. You have to filter this using SCCP. Okay? Skinny protocol. Well, in this file, we don't have a skinny protocol because it's not a Cisco base. Okay. Hopefully, this uh, video tutorial is informative to you. You can uh, do this exercise in your desktop. And as you can see that, I put an assignment here on the blackboard. Uh, based on your uh, reading on chapter 13 write a brief summary how to eavesdrop using wireshack tools make sure you read the page 543 on your textbook uh, this uh, help you to understand how to write the the summary thank you